about choosing songs and looking yeah. at aspects of time and how we find them generally. Um, I think partly it's by listening, a lot at the moment, it's by listening to other people and going to sing arounds and going to folk clubs and hearing songs. And a lot of songs get chosen that way. And then uh, our history of what we've listened to, which is not just folk, but... And then looking back at songs we've sung before and looking at them in a different light because perhaps we haven't thought of the time aspects of them because that wasn't the the key thing we were looking at at the time. Yeah, you start off with Hickory Dickory Dock and then you move on to <laughs> different yes. kinds of periodicity yes. Yes. all the way through to lifetimes and, and yeah, days of the week and then all the way yeah. through to lifetimes and that, yeah. yeah. And then we practice singing them together, kind of. And the process of learning, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's different for every song, I suppose. Because I learn the tunes quite quickly, but you yeah. learn words really fast, yeah. you're very good at doing that. Yeah. And then the, after that, having both learnt the tune, that process of um, inventing a, a set creating. of parts, or an arrangement, <laughs> creating. or creating uh, harmonies, or when one sings above the other one, or below the other one, yeah. and just playing with our voices. That can take a long, long time. And, and I think playing with the lines to tell the story better, yeah. or to kind of create some life in the song. Um, and listening to different versions and thinking, oh, I like the way that person does that bit. Yeah. Um, well, we, we try to look at the balance of, you know, the different and aspects choosing of the time songs. Mm -hmm. that we, we were looking at. Mm. And the kind of the light and the dark. Mm. You know, the, the sort of jolly ones and the sad ones and the joiny any ones. Yeah, mm -hmm. the hickory dickory dock yeah. all the way through to um, suicide. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, you, you could do the suicide one. Yeah. <laughs> which, <laughs> is the, which is the suicide one? It's, it's a, a, a song. not on the list yet. <laughs> it's um, a song by, his name will come to me in just a moment. Which you is, want it? I'll give you yes, the name. You and McCall. You and McCall. Oh, right, yeah. Jumping right in and out of your head. Um, yeah, our body washed up by Westminster Pier and found in his pocket is the um, watch he's given when he retires. Uh, and that's how that one connects to time. Um, oh. 40 years service. 40 years service, yeah. Um, but you might cry if you sing that. <laughs> yeah, quite an yeah, affecting we, song. We may or may not include that yeah. one. There's a few sort of um, uh, kind of reserves. Well, I think it's good again when you're singing a, a set of songs somewhere, not to necessarily have a fixed set list. And I think mm. thinking about words in folk mm. songs. Because yeah, of this the event in Greenwich will be it's very much, you know, it's primarily about words and I think that made a difference to how we were choosing and looking at the folk songs a bit. Yes, I think it probably did. Well, yeah. It certainly made us think about the words in a different way because we were looking for spe very specific themes and we've mm. never really done that before, although we're developing a few themes that we yeah. tend to sing about. Yeah. <laughs> I think most folkies have a set on death. Death, and a <laughs> death set and yeah. the devil and the farmer's wife type set. And yeah. 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 Um, Categorising folk songs. But I think, yes, it did make us sort of think about... I mean, suddenly I was singing something in the kitchen that we'd been doing in choir and I suddenly yeah. thought, oh, actually, that works. Yeah. 